Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew. We are back with a new video. I know it's been a while. I actually just finished all of my finals for school and I'm actually graduating on this weekend and actually moving back to Long Island the same weekend as well. So that should be very fun. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much done with school. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, who knows? Maybe I'll get a full time job. But right now um, it's all about this video. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a video of doing some master clues and just seeing what I've gotten from them and let's see if I get any good rewards at all. This was a little clip where I got PK'd while doing one or at least someone tried to and I didn't have any armor on so it would have kind of sucked to die. I know you can buy like a clue box or something but I never really found the need for that because it's so rare that you die doing a clue scroll but it can happen. So a couple of these clips will be out of order because I didn't have a very good naming system for these clips but anyway we'll take a look at some of the rewards. Most of the rewards you're gonna get something like that just like a few hundred K nothing really special doing these puzzles here. OS Buddy has a feature where it can do the puzzles for you kind of, but it's a kind of slow way to do it. Like it'll tell you where to click, but it does it a very long way. Unfortunately, most of the pages there are very crappy, but uh, look at this one actually. This was a double Zami page from the KBD Lair Master Clue. That's a pretty juicy one right there uh, over a mill. Hard to see the blue uh, writing there, but yeah, that's pretty damn good. One thing that I always thought was funny about clues since I've started doing them in like 2007 is the silly gear it makes you put on and I actually just kind of trolled this guy at the KBD lair. Um, I said like, oh, this is my first time PKing. I don't know why I was scolded in this clip. Maybe I attacked someone, but uh, I said, do you think this gear is good? And I go on to say I have a spec weapon and it's the Dragon Battle Axe spec weapon. That so sounds like something I would do back like in 2006 or 2007 PK with Dragon Battle Axe as my spec weapon. That would be pretty good. The next clip is going to have a reward that I was kind of upset with because one of the main reasons to do these master clues is for the Bloodhound pet, which is a 1 in 1,000 chance every time you open a uh, master clue casket. So that's considered one of the most like prestigious pets in the game. It's very hard to get. Some people have done over 1,000 clues. And uh, look what reward I'm about to get instead of the Bloodhound. The Bucket Hat Gold. That's rarer than the Bloodhound, and it's only worth, like, nothing. It's worth, like, a couple mil. I mean, sure, yeah, it's nice to have a couple mil, but I'd much rather have the Bloodhound. That's an extremely rare reward. You could do Master Clues for years, and you'll never see that reward. And this was only my 30-something reward. Like, that's unbelievable how I have that kind of luck, where I get something that shitty that's really not worth anything. It's just a cosmetic item. And unfortunately, no one really cares about cosmetic items, so they're just not worth a lot of money. I think the original design by Jagex is that this would be worth a lot of money because it's so rare, but because it's just cosmetic, no one really cares too much about it. So I guess I can't complain that's a few extra mil in the bank, but still kind of a weird reward that you don't really want. And just if you're wondering how much it's sold for, because a lot of these items are inactive, let's take a look here, selling it on the GE. And there we go, 2.8 mil, which is not too bad. Again, that's a very nice sum of money to get from Master Clue, way above average, but kind of weird that I would run into something like that before even doing 50 Master Clues. And just to emphasize even more how rare this thing is, I found this picture on Reddit of someone getting it near the day of release, and look what Jagex set the price at, 150 mil, and they probably expected it to go up too, so I don't know if anyone knows quite how rare this is, I think I remember seeing a Jmon clip of a long time ago saying it was just extremely, extremely rare, but it might be rarer than Third Age, and it's probably almost certainly rarer than the Bloodhound pet, so yeah, very weird luck, and I really wish it was still 150 mil, because I would have taken that. Uh, without a doubt, but I'm going to have to settle for two and a half. One of my favorite things about doing clues is they give you a good incentive to get some levels up. So for this example, I had to get 80 mining from 73 to do a master clue, which I had in my bank. It was almost a fully completed master clue as well. So you need to mine some runet ore while sporting the finest mining gear, which is, of course, the Mother of the Lone Mine Prospector gear. So it actually gave me a pretty good incentive to just say, say, hey, I'll go get 80 mining, and maybe I'll get a really good reward from the clue, and if not, then at least I'll have the level of 80 mining. That's definitely a big accomplishment, so let's see what I get. Of course, I had to boost to 85 mining, so using the brown spicy stews here. You can get spicy stews very quickly if you use a wily hellcat, which is very easy to get, and you fight the rat bosses, basically, that drop a full spicy stew rather than like a one-dose one. So once you get the boost, you just have to pray for the 85 um, or the plus five boost and then just pray that you can mine the rock fast enough. So once you see it, um, flick preserve on or have it on in the first place and hope you mine the rock fast enough, which I was able to do here to complete the challenge. So let's see, what's our reward from a week of mining in the mother load mine for doing this master clue? Am I going to get anything good? Nope, just a few hundred K. But hey, 
Um, I've already gotten this mining clue more times already, so it was definitely worth doing the mining and it gets the total level up as well, and it's good to have all your skills um, up as high as they can, of course. So even though the reward was not good at all, it was definitely worth it. So let's stop pussyfooting around here and take a look at my best ever Master Clue reward. And this is probably actually my best Clue reward ever. I don't think I've ever gotten something worth more than this. So when doing one of these hot cold things here, which I really don't like, even though they're pretty easy, they're just annoying. I have to bring like 10 brews and stuff. I mean, you could probably be a little bit more economical about not pressing the button as much as I do. And it's pretty quick if you just use the RuneScape Wiki image of all of the possible locations, you can do them pretty quick. Well, let's see what I get here. Anku socks, what the hell are those? And how much are they actually worth? Like I said, most of these items are pretty inactive in the GE, so you might have some weird looking prices that are not actually right. But at the bottom in there, it says that your treasure trail is worth around 5.2 mil. That's amazing, but are they actually worth 5.2 mil? That's the question. I really have no idea. I forgot this item even existed, but let's take a look at the GE and see what I get for them. Go in here to sell them. Sell them for a minimum. I don't really care. Um, let's just try 9 mil. Who knows? Maybe they're actually worth a lot. Holy shit, they sold over 9 mil. That is a nice payday for maybe 20 minutes of work. Holy crap. Yeah, I love Master Clues now. That's a pretty damn good reward. Uh, don't know why I deserve that. Don't know why these are worth so much either. I know the Anku set is really cool. Uh, you know, people pretend to be Ankus, get other people to skull on them. It is like a transparent set. So that's one of the few cosmetic items that actually is worth something decent. So can't complain there. Very, very nice reward. Here's another Wildy Clue. I had to fight the three wizards this time, which can actually wreck you if you're not careful because they can hit quite high and accurate, usually just wearing like Dehide to cover the magic defense, praying range for the range defense, and just tanking the melee will put you in a pretty good spot here. Um, I like that there's a little bit of leeway in terms of where you can actually dig. It's not just on one specific square for the most part. Anyway, I didn't want to open this until outside of the wilderness, but I kind of got lazy, so I just said, let's see what I got. And wow, a samurai top, is that worth a, a shit ton? No, it's only worth like 200k. Uh, so that's another one of those weird cosmetic items, but I guess no one really cares about the samurai outfit. I think it actually looks kind of cool if you have the full thing, but unfortunately it's just not a very popular item. So even though that's probably pretty rare, I'm not sure how rare it is. Maybe it's the same rarity as the Anku socks. That'd be my guess, but I'm not sure. Um, it's just really not worth a whole lot, unfortunately. At least we have a genie though. And speaking of samurai items, look what I got in this one. This was an emote clue in a rare place, Mire Ditch, that you never really go to. Samurai Gloves, which are actually worth a little bit more, I think, but uh, still kind of a weird reward. But at this rate, before I even do 100 Master Clues, I'll probably have the full set. Uh, not a bad reward, 348k. You wish it could be a little more, but again, can't really complain. So let's just take a look at the remainder of the rewards that I've yet to show. Uh, overall, are Master Clues worth it? I'd say definitely. You can always run into a good reward if you, you know, get lucky. You know, the bucket hat is an interesting exception because that's a very good reward, but it's also kind of unlucky in a way while still being lucky. And, you know, you can always get the bloodhound pet. That's always a bonus for me. I'm a big pet hunter. I love going for pets. So, you know, you, it might not take you a thousand master clues to get the bloodhound pet. You might get it under a hundred, which would be very lucky. And that is definitely one of the cooler pets in the game. Not only is it pretty cool, but it's also just people see that and I'm like, wow, bloodhound pet. You don't see that every day because you really don't. It's a very rare one. Uh, as far as if they're fun to do, they can be kind of annoying. I mean, you know, I don't really like the hot cold ones. I really hate the ones where it gives you three places to dig and there's like three pieces. Some of those are in really annoying places to get to, so I just don't really see the fun in doing that. Um, but they're not that boring and they only take like 20 minutes unless you get a particularly bad one. So they're not really bad content. And the, the good thing too is it gets your skills up as well as you saw earlier doing the mining. I mean, I'm really glad to have mining out of the way. That was a skill that I dreaded doing. And when I actually got around to doing it, it was not too bad at all. Um, but overall, if you just do a whole day of Master Clues, you're probably not going to make a lot of money. But you probably will eventually stumble into a good reward to make it worth it in the long run to be doing a lot of them. So that's going to do it for the video today, guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are definitely always the best. Um, sorry I haven't been too active in terms of uploading the last month or two. Definitely my interest in the game fluctuates a little bit. Some weeks, I'll, or actually a lot. Uh, some weeks when I was like going for that 80 mining goal, I'm playing like eight hours a day. I'm trying to get that goal in, you know, before the weekend or before the weekend's over and I'll be playing a shit ton. And some weeks I'll only log on a few hours here and there. Uh, I never really force myself to play, but um, it's always nice when I'm having a lot of fun playing. And I actually did have a lot of fun making this video, which is always a very good sign. So hopefully I can get back into kind of a rhythm once uh, I get back from school and all settled in and stuff. It's going to be a little 
it's going to take really a couple days to move out of this apartment. I have to like load the couch into the car and everything. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. But uh, hopefully everything works out with that, or really should. There's nothing that could really go wrong. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Raids 2 as well. That should be some pretty fun content to do. Um, I'm not that excited about the rewards, other than maybe the Rapier would be cool. I'm glad that the Twisted Bow is definitely playing a big role now. I know they fixed it recently where it's going to work a little better in Raids, uh, whereas before it was kind of glitched in Rage, which no one really knew about. Um, so that's actually kind of nice. So I still really want to go for an Ellie. And uh, I've been doing Venonatus, but... I've been getting a little burnt out of Venonatus, and you'll see why in probably a future video, but you can probably expect a Venonatus guide, because I've done that boss so much that um, I think I might as well make a guide for it now, just to show you guys my little method. So, um, yeah, that's going to do it for the video today, guys. Join the clan chat, Andrew AJT 62 The clan chat will be up on screen, just Andrew AJT 62 uh, Like the video if you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate that. Leave your comments in the comment section obviously leave any suggestions you have for future videos i always need ideas and such that's always well appreciated you can follow me on twitter down below i'll follow you back if you play rs you can follow me down on twitch down below uh, maybe we can finally get a boss mess in the summer i know i've been saying that for a long time but now i'll really have nothing to worry about for a while and you could support us on patreon if you really want so that's going to do it for the video today guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys hopefully soon thanks